So this year in March at GDC, we did a live presentation of the Hellblade character Senua performing in front of an audience uh, using technology brought together by a collaboration of Ninja Theory, Cubic Motion, Three Lateral and ourselves. So for SIGGRAPH we thought we'd do something special where we um, riff off what we'd done at GDC but add a few more bells and whistles. We're here at SIGGRAPH to demo a new process that we've been working on. What if you could shoot CG scenes as easily and intuitively as you could live action? So we want to get from set to final edit in a few minutes, a process that normally takes months. So we're ready to begin, Michael. Yep, all set. Mel, are you ready? Effect is good, facial is good. And four, three, two, one, action. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Listen to me. We now have this system sequencer. So with sequencer, we're able to record performances and layer them onto a timeline just like you would do with a traditional editing system. We can alter timing, we can add cameras, we can adjust lighting. So now we can take one, two, three, four, as many as you want performances of an actor driving a digital body and layer them into a cinematic sequence. And cut. Cool, that was great. Cool. Over to you, Michael. So as you can see, we've recorded both her facial animation and her motion, uh, as well as her dialogue. And we can now look at this performance against the live Senua. So if we roll back, uh, Tamim can start blocking out this next shot. OK, so let's get her going, walking through the mirror again. So Mel, can you step forwards a few steps? And if you, Michael, if you scrub backwards and forwards with yep. the mirror image. Uh, sure. Zoom in here. OK, from there, you want to step back when she steps through. So rewind and play. Yep. Playing in three, two, one. Right, so that's a moment we want to catch. And then as we go around here, let's shift the focus onto the real cinema. Sure. That's it. And play. Look back. Perfect. Okay, we're all set up then, Mike. All right. Set up for part B. And Mel, you ready? Effect is good. Action. In the 20th century, entertainment was defined by the camera and film. Today, we have a new revolution happening that is fueled by game engine technology. It allows us to work in a way that is much more akin to live action production than traditional digital production. Unlike traditional previews where the representation of set is very, um, you know, very crude, rough and ready, uh, here you're getting much closer to the, to the end result. So it you know, gives the director a lot, a, a lot more ability to say, okay, that's a wrap. And, and really be confident that the shot is, um, is what they want. And cut. I'm happy with that one, Michael. All right. So now that we've uh, done this part, we can take a look at how the performances we just captured work in the overall piece. In the last take, we recorded both the camera, her facial animation, as well as her body animation. Don't leave so me. When she drops to her knees, we're going to actually swing this shot in. And this shot was something we created in our cinematic department, but we'll be using the body motion from what we just shot. So this process we're calling real-time cinematography it allows you to see every detail of the scene in real time, face, voice, atmospherics, VFX, lighting, everything. You can do anything. You could, you know, you could basically put an audience in the middle of you know, Disney's Fantasia. It's, it's crazy what you're going to be able to do. I'll play back in three, two, one. No. No. Don't leave me. 
Get out! 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 Get out!